Congrats for clicking on this video today. My name is Reverie Nola, and today we're going to discuss a fairly popular yet underrated theory slash headcanon which has been around since SA2 has been here. The theory simply explains why Shadow the Hedgehog even looks like or resembles our Blue Hedgehog. And the answer to that is it's probably based off of the mural found in Hidden Palace Zone of Sonic 3 Knuckles. In it, of course, the mural sort of foreshadows the boss fight in which Super Sonic will eventually have to face Eggman in Doomsday Zone. However, Gerald could have seen this exact same mural and seen it as him being destined to create the ultimate life form, with the egg shape being representing Gerald himself or the Ark and the Hedgehog representing the ultimate life form or Shadow. The main evidence for this is because Professor Gerald took a lot of inspiration from the Echidna civilization. You can see this mainly through the various characteristics found aboard the Ark, which are similar to what's found in civilization. One of those evidence being the Master Emerald Shrine lookalike found on the Ark. I mean it even functions and acts the same way as the real one, as seen by the way it responds to the Chaos Emeralds, the Master Emerald, and even Knuckles to an extent. Then there is Lost World's Giant Snake and Water Tunnel, which are oddly similar or connected to the Giant Snake Tunnel found in the last section of Cannon's Core. And finally there are the Chaos Zero enemies which are named after Chaos himself, and their heads all look like Chaos Zeros. This theory also not only explains why Shadow looks like Sonic, but in turn sort of explains why Gerald went from creating a giant lizard to a small yet powerful little hedgehog in his pursuit for creating the ultimate life form. Since if Shadow was based off of the Sonic 3 Knuckles mural, then Bio Lizard would have been based off the perfect chaos mural found in Sonic Adventure, which in turn would explain its lizard or dragon-like design. All of this evidence not only confirms that Shadow himself is based off the ultimate life form, but it also sort of implies that Super Sonic in general is in fact the real ultimate life form. The main big evidence for this is if you play the Final Hazard boss fight and you get to the 4 minute mark. And if you are playing as Super Sonic in this time, you will hear this quote. This is Shadow, of all people confirming that Sonic, or more specifically a super form, is in fact the ultimate life form, which in turn sort of confirms his mural theory as well as the fact that Gerald probably told Shadow what he was based off of. The next part of this video is sort of like the trivia section, because I honestly didn't know where to put this info because it kind of helps my case, but it also kind of doesn't either, but I'm just going to use it either way. So the bio lizard scream that you hear during the cutscenes is actually a heavily pitched version of Sonic and Shadow screaming in Japanese. So basically they took this scream, and this scream, and made this one. Which is really neat and kind of proves how related those three are. I mean, obviously Shadow is related to the Bio Lizard because they are basically siblings and Shadow looking like Sonic explains the relation between those guys. However, what relationship do Sonic and the Bio Lizard have? Maybe their connection to the mural or to what the real ultimate life form is, aka Super Sonic. Either way, I am happy that Sonic Team and Sega did this back in the day, and it's nice that they put a little bit of lore information together. It kind of proves that they may have actually had somewhat of a talent for storytelling back then. Anywho, I'm not the first person to come up with this theory. Like I said, it's been around on forums and threads for years, and I thought it would be quite interesting to make a video on it. Anyway, that basically wraps up this video, and I promise that the next video I upload will be a Kingdom Hearts video. And if you're looking for more Sonic content, I have shitloads of Sonic games and Kingdom Hearts games on this channel, whether from a walkthrough kind or a discussion kind like my unpopular opinion series with Sonic and Kingdom Hearts. This is Reverie Nola, signing out. Ciao.